It's really hard to go through a rehab. Yeah. Uh, it's not like, oh, you're healthy, go play. Now you're performing at the same level mm -hmm. that you were performing yeah, yeah, at yeah. before. It's just not yeah. how that works. All right, so welcome back to another video. Um, since the last video you guys obviously watched, it got released. We are now with Dean Jackson at the new driveline in Scottsdale, Arizona. So as you guys can see in the background, this is where I will be training at for this off season and gets us into today's video. So putting out a new vlog series for this off season, which will be uh, road to 97 miles per hour, um, which would be a PR for me. And I've done game day vlogs, I've done training and stuff. So that will be the project for this off season. And the reason Dean is here is because Dean is going to be training me. And yeah. I will be training at this facility. <laughs> and from last video, got released. And one of the first people I reached out to was Dean. I've trained with him before, had really good results. And it was a pretty obvious thing for me to reach out to him because get released, someone's telling you you're not good enough at what you're doing, so you need to get better at it. So it made sense to reach out to you. And that is why we are here today. Yeah, no, I'm excited. Uh, get this thing going. Aiden and I go way back in terms of training. Um, been been together for years. Uh, we had a great run in Arizona a couple years ago. COVID year. Yeah, COVID, COVID year. year. That was awesome. Yeah. Uh, picked 97 for this time because mm -hmm. you, what was the PR? 96 96.3. 96.3. Ah, come on. Go! Come on! And so, I've hit 96.2 a few times. Before. Yeah, yeah. So 97, <laughs> not that big of a jump. Um, obviously, it would be great to, to go out and do something you'd never done before, so yeah. uh, excited to be part of the process. So we are pretty much starting from scratch as far as trying to rebuild some throwing and movement patterns for me, um, especially through rehab. I got into a lot of bad habits to try to deflect pretty much strain from my elbow, and I didn't quite have the help I needed to not kind of fall into those bad habits. And so luckily, already working with Dean, and we're kind of addressing what some of those main issues are and what we need to do to kind of get better at that. Sure, yeah, absolutely. So some of the big stuff, just talking broadly, uh, it's really hard to go through a rehab. Yeah. Uh, it's not like, oh, you're healthy, go play. Now you're performing at the same level mm -hmm. that you were performing yeah, yeah, at yeah. before. It's just not yeah. how that works. Uh, getting healthy, being able to try at a high intensity without pain is step one, mm -hmm. which is where you're yeah. at. Yeah. But that's drastically different than different. being, I'm at my best performing. Mm -hmm. So that's, yeah. we're at the point where like, you're healthy, recover from the surgery, have no pain, which yeah. is great. Now we need to take you from that point to the point which is I'm performing at my best and I can do it at a professional level consistently. Yeah. Uh, and just touching very broadly on, on some things we need to do. Um, exactly like you mentioned, when you have an injury, especially an elbow injury, think about the goal of the throw is to send energy down through the chain, yeah. right? Uh, if the end of the chain causes you pain, you're gonna change how you move at the beginning of the chain mm -hmm. and throughout it, so you send less energy through it. Because yeah. uh, your body doesn't care about being mechanically efficient to get the most out of it. Your mm -hmm. body cares about not hurting. Yeah. <laughs> so if it hurts, it's going to make your mechanics worse. Yeah. Do anything it can to not make it hurt. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so that's where we're starting, um, which obviously you mm -hmm. know this because we've already uh, dove into it a little bit, but a broad understanding, that's where we're starting. Uh, let's get your, uh, ability to train yeah. from you are healthy to okay now we can train at a high intensity mm -hmm. very often without getting hurt yeah um without having to take a deload because you weren't prepared for it yeah and that's the big difference kind of like you said we've talked about it obviously is i got healthy came back i was like 90 93 um which is healthy i could throw so clearly this is okay we're mm -hmm. good you know get back to 993 but the goal is to be a big leaguer or to be as close to being a big leaguer and being the best you you can be. So that's where like 90 and 93 clearly didn't cut Not it. Not gonna cut it. Yeah. Ever. So, <laughs> um, so we're here and that's like the goal is we have such a long period of time, which also I'm grateful for because usually you get three months, really as an off season, you usually season ends, you're exhausted, you're banged up, you take time off, then you kind of start ramping back up and then it's like season. Mm -hmm. So this one, we have a ton of time to really hammer down and kind of master the throw, change some things, 
and hopefully get to some pretty cool like numbers uh, later in the year, sure. early, early spring. No, I'm super excited to go through the process. Uh, we'll be coming out with another video mm -hmm. here pretty dang soon, just about, uh, well, what the heck are we gonna do? Getting into the specifics of, yeah. okay, what are we doing? What are the problems? Mm -hmm. How are we gonna attack them? What do we expect the outcome to be? Yeah. What do we expect the duration of that uh, block to be? Mm -hmm. And then what do we do next? So Yeah, so from, uh, for guys who are watching, we're gonna have a lot of like, for my channel, what we'll be putting out is like vlogs pretty often, uh, one to two a month, and kind of just training, what it looks like, nutrition, everything. Gonna go over all of it. Dean's channel as well, we'll be covering a lot of like the more in-depth about what we're trying to fix, how we're trying to fix it, and kind of what the goal is. There'll be a lot of good content for anybody who's interested. And we'll be in this awesome facility. It's super close and so lucky to, lucky to have Driveline in Arizona officially, so. I hope you guys enjoy this next series. And we did talk to, I talked to Sim, so we're not knocking off 95 <laughs> or die. Um, we're doing Road to 97, so we will throw harder. But it's the same thing of, I hope you guys enjoy kind of the journey from where somebody is at to where they want to be. Sure. No, excited to go through the process yeah. and, and pumped to be a part of it. Cool, appreciate you guys for watching.